Yes, sir. You already know this your boy B Hayes. We back with another vid. You already know. If you're new to the channel, I just want to let you know what we're about. We're about personal finance, the stock market, motivation. You know, anything to do with getting a bag, we own it. So if that interests you in any kind of way, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. You know, and don't forget to hit that like button. Y'all go ahead and kill that like button. It's going to help the channel out tremendously. So you already don't like to waste nobody's time. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. So today, I want to tell y'all three incredible, you know, ways to save money. Three little hacks. And we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. The first hack will be to, like, you know, if everybody should have a, you know, go ahead. If you ain't got that band, that first thousand, that would be the first thing I want to get y'all on. Go ahead and stack that first thousand. I know you know how to make a hundred. I know you know how to make a hundred dollars. You done did it. That same thing you did to make that hundred. I need you to do that time 10. Do it 10 more times. That'll be your first thousand. And see, what I'm going with this is, whenever you stack up your first thousand, I want you to get in your mind. Because see, this is what I did. This is what I did coming up. And this is what I do. Once I reach a certain level, once I reach that first band, first thousand dollars, I'm not going up under it no more. That's like my zero threshold. So really, I want to work hard to get like eleven, twelve hundred dollars. So that two hundred dollars, that one two hundred dollars, that's my spending money. That's the only limit I got of spending. After I spend, if I got twelve hundred dollars in my name, after that two hundred dollars gone, and I'm at that thousand, it's like I got zero in my head. All my money gone. That thousand to the side. Forgot about it. So when I get to that point, you like, what if you actually actually need it? Like you got to do something. I borrow the money. You should have a source of income coming in. I borrow the money from a family member, from a friend, from a brother or sister. Hey, let me borrow $50 till I get paid. Because I ain't, I ain't even going to let them know about my money to the side. But, you know, I got that to the side. I can't touch that. So I'm going to borrow all my money I got coming in just so I know I won't touch that. Because if I touch it one time, I might touch it again and again and again. And that thousand gone just that quick. So anyways, that's what I'm getting at. Set your goals, reach them, and don't go up under them. Don't dip up under them. So you'll go from 1000 We ain't going up under that. Next goal will be 2000 We'll work. You get that extra money. Get like 22 23 You only can spend that two, three hundred. 300 Once you get $2,000, you can't, can't go up under it. I'm borrowing. I'm doing whatever I got to do, but I can't go up under 2000 Then 5000 Then 10000 And we keep working. Never... I always reach that new goal and never go up under it, no matter what. You feel me? So that would be number one. Number two would be, number two would be, take a small amount of money. This is what I had just figured, discovered about myself. Wish somebody would have been said something, been told me about it. But basically, when you go into the store, when you want convenience stores and stuff, I got a bad habit of, you know, you know, having the munchies, smoking or whatnot. You get the munchies. I go to the convenience store, spend ten to twelve dollars on snacks. Like and that adds up over time. So a way to break that to beat the cold with that is, I want you to like not bring your wallet. Cause if I bring my wallet, when you bring your wallet to the store, you like well I can buy anything. You can buy anything in the store. You can buy you can buy the whole buy the whole store. Not you know for just <laughs> just kidding, but you know nigga yeah you can fire actually do that, but. Anyways, you know, you want to take a small amount. You want to just take, like, now I just take, like, $4. I usually spend 10 to 12 Now I just take $4. If I can't get something to, you know, make, like, something, I buy cheaper snacks. I make that $4 stretch. I buy the 25-cent candies, the cheaper chips, and a, a little juice. You know what I'm saying? Make that $4 stretch instead of spending 10 to 12 because I noticed that I spent a lot of money stopping at convenience stores on little trips. For no reason. So that that would be a tip trick. Just take a little bit of cash with you when you go certain places to where that's all you got. So that's all you can spend. You get what I'm saying? Like you got more money, but that's all you brought. So that's your budget. That's all you can spend. Tip number three would be when you go to Walmart, Food Line, any of these places, any of these grocery stores, I already have your list. I already have your plan. Just like how I have a plan in the stock market. I know exactly what I'm getting in and out of a stock at before I get in. I know what type of loss I'm going to take and what type of game I'm going for. You need to have a plan with your life. You need to have a plan with with just like with shopping and stuff like that too. Because when you go on Walmart, we always get sidetracked. You just see things. You'll put it in the buggy. Let me get this. Let me get that. If you ain't got no plan, you're going there. You're liable to spend whatever. Spend that. You're going to get what you need, what you came for, but you also spend an extra 30 
dollars, extra fifty dollars, sometimes a hundred, depending on what you see in there. So it's like we need to be, you know, just make you a little list and know what you have your plan on exactly what you're going in for and probably a thing or two of what you want. You feel me? Making that making that list, you'll save a whole lot of extra money. So that would be number that would be number three. And what also ties on with number three is like mall shopping. Like whenever you go to mall, go shopping and stuff, have you a have you a, a budget in your head, in your mind on um, about how much you're gonna spend. Like when I go to the mall, I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars, hundred and twenty dollars, no more than that. Instead of besides going to the mall and just I'm going to the mall knowing you want to shop and it's like whatever I see I'm getting it. I want it, I can afford it, I'm buying it. Now I have a plan, you know, and stick to it. And them them three ways and stuff, that's gonna help you a lot with saving. I hope they help you in any kind of way. And if they do, don't forget to share this video. I'm trying to share a few tips with you to help you out. You don't forget to pass on it and help someone else out and share it. And like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know more to come. Behaves, we out.